Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Boss Bounty video and welcome to episode 117 of Ask Boss Bounty. You know the drill by now, this is the series where I answer your questions so if you do have a question for next week's episode please leave it in the comment section below and we can keep this series going. We do have a bumper episode this week, loads and loads of questions and that's because last week I was running a giveaway which the results will be in this video a little bit later on so stay tuned for that. But of course, to enter that giveaway, I did ask you to be a subscriber, leave a like on the video, and also to ask a question. So I got around 500 questions, which was quite unbelievable. It's taken me all morning to go through them and pick some questions for this week's episode. So we do have a load of questions, but I'm gonna try and answer them in quick style fashion, unless one of the questions requires a lengthy answer. But most of them are gonna be quick fire, just to get through them all, so we can get through as many of your questions as possible. But as I said, don't forget to leave your question for next week's episode if you weren't featured this week. William Roberts says, do you know if there is somewhere to get the stand from Grogu's Pram? Apparently you can use the same stand on the back bottom of the carbonite blocks that come with the Razor Crest to make them look like they're floating, but they don't include extras. So you are absolutely right, William. You can use the stand from the Grogu's Pram that came with the standard release in the Vintage Collection, and I have it on this one here. So this is the Mithril. He is floating. It looks pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't know anywhere where you can get those stands apart from in that Grogu set, and they are a special kind of stand. We just pull this out here. It isn't a full circle. There is like a flat side to it. You can just see it on there. If I'm just getting close to that. You might not be able to see that, but basically there's a little flat side in there. So unfortunately, if you don't have the right one, you're not going to be able to put a stand on there. However, I'm sure in the future, some clever person will come up with a solution and 3D print it for everybody or something like that. So please, somebody out there that makes plastic stands, make some of those so we can all make our carbonite blocks float. Stephen says, congrats on 20K, Tim. Well deserved and thank you for all the great content. With the pattern of the Retro Collection releases so far, we should see a new exclusive Return of the Jedi figure in a future wave. After Slave Layer, Ula always seemed to be glaring omissions in the original line. What do you think the chances of seeing either? For a quick answer, my friend, I think the chances of seeing those is, is zero. I don't think they're going to have any appetite to making those figures whatsoever. And I think it's obvious why, whether we agree with it or not is another thing. Johan Mickelson says, congrats on 20K. Thank you so much. Question, do you think there's any chance of them releasing just the throne separately from the throne room set? Before the throne room set is out, I very, very much doubt it. After that, who knows? They may include it in like a convention exclusive or something like that, or another deluxe pack. Something where they can get that Boba Fett figure out again, basically include the throne but before that set comes out i very much doubt it they probably want you to buy that set which includes that throne david grinstaff says question what's your favorite vintage kenner figure i'm still working on the last 17 and recently obtained a pop-up r2 and luke stormy i never had any of the last 17 when i was young and lost interest by the time they came out but think the playability of these must have been amazing you're absolutely right david they were it, i got those at the very end of sort of being a child basically i had about maybe a year of playing with them and here's just a few of my favorite vintage star wars figures i absolutely love the biker scout i love return of the jedi luke and this one for me is one of the best last 17 figures when this figure came out i it blew my mind because you've got the soft goods cape i thought the sculpting on his body and everything was really really good and i don't know i just thought that the figures had gone up another level when i saw general lando Danny Allen says, congrats on 20K, keep up the great work. John the Action Figure Grader and you are my sources. Love you guys. Thank you so much, Danny. Question, what TVC 1.0 figures would you be on the lookout for, aside from Revenge Slave Leia and Canadian Yoda? Thank you. Well, I would look at the ones that I don't think are ever going to be ever released again by Hasbro, because of course they are going through this thing where they're re-releasing a lot of the figures. So I would look at maybe the 212 Battalion Clone Trooper, they're not going to release that one again because the figure is too out of date. And I'd probably say the same for the Sand Troopers. So I think it's VC 112. I don't think they'll release that one again because they're going to have that new Stormtrooper mold and they'll probably just, you know, put some weathering on him to make him look sandy. I don't think they're going to use that previous version of the Sand Trooper again, which means we'll probably get a new card back and everything. So VC 112 would be a good one to look out for in my opinion. Chris Kolb says, great content as always and congrats on 20K, thank you so much. Question for next week, do you know if the ESB Yoda will have proper elbow joints or if it will be swivel elbows like in the Cave of Evil 3 pack? Thanks. 
So I've got to admit, I didn't realize that the Cave of Evil three pack actually had the swivel elbows. And I've just checked this one here and he does actually have the swivel elbows, which is a bit annoying, which means the VC20 Revenge of the Sith Yoda also had those because essentially what they're doing is they're using the same body, but with a different head. And as far as I'm aware that this is the figure. So unfortunately, my friend, I don't think they're gonna have updated that, but you never know until we get the figure, we're not 100% sure. Walter Abram says, awesome as always, Tim, this will be an interesting one. What was Little Bosk's first Star Wars figure and what is his favorite? Cheers, mate. I can't remember what his first figure was. I don't even know if it is a modern figure. It may have been one of my old vintage figures, so I can't tell you that, but I do know what his favorite figure is and it is hands down the new Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. He absolutely loves that figure and you can't really blame him. It's a great figure. Big Bad Ben Racing says, Hey Tim, congratulations on 20K. My question for next week is about TVC Cad Bane. Will we see a more animated version of a figure of him with a Clone Wars or Bad Batch card back or a figure based off his more realistic look from the Book of Boba with a Book of Boba card back? I'm down for either. So I think because they have been releasing quite a lot of figures from the Clone Wars quite recently and there's a lot more to come this year as well, then it is entirely possible that we'd get the Cad Bane that was released a few years ago put onto a vintage style card. He'll probably come with the little droid 360 droid. However, I think when they come round to doing the Book of Boba Fett, it won't be any type of repaint or, you know, re-sculpt or anything. It will be a brand new figure, 100% they have to. And I think with the vintage collection, we'll probably just have to wait a little while for them to do that, like we have with like IG-11 and things like that. But I'm pretty sure when we do get that figure, it'll be, it'll be pretty cool. Hive Posters says, question, when the Black Series six inch line first appeared, do you think Hasbro purposely neglected the 3.75 inch line in an attempt to force collectors to switch scales Cheers. In a short answer, yes. 09MTH says, question, do you think we'll ever see a Commander Cody on a Clone Wars card? Also, did we ever get an answer if the Morak Boba Fett is carded or not? So first of all, the Morak Boba Fett is carded. That was confirmed in one of the Q&As. And will we ever see a Commander Cody on a Clone Wars card? A couple of weeks ago, I probably would have said no, they'll just do the Revenge of the Sith one. But as we've seen with the 501st, they've put him on that Clone Wars card, which I think is cool, by the way. Uh, so you just never know, it's entirely possible. Link2195 says, congrats on the 20K, love the Q&A. Question I had, do you think the Razor Crest figures would be released on their own so we don't pay insane prices? Well, here they are, and we didn't really get a good look at these in my video for the Razor Crest review. If you haven't checked out that review, it's on the channel, by the way. I'll leave a link just up there on a card. But here are the figures, um, and unfortunately, no, my friend, these will not be released outside of the Razor Crest. These are one and done inside the Razor Crest. Of course, we already do have the Grogu and the Jawa in the main line. They're just ever so slightly different with a couple of different accessories. Of course, the Grogu does have the very awesome Vac Metalized Pram, but unfortunately, no, this is your only chance to get them was inside the Razor Crest. Derek Marquette says, congrats on 20K. With the Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary approaching, are there any figures from that film you'd like to see released or re-released? I'd personally love to see another run of the Sail Barge R2-D2. Well, to be honest, I'd be here all day if I named all the figures that haven't been released yet that I'd like to be released. But if we're talking about ones that have already been released, then I would love to see these two. And it's, I don't know why I haven't had these included in the background of the video already, but we have the Rancor Keeper and Jiran, both from the Legacy Collection, both fantastic figures. And if you're gonna do an anniversary of the Return of the Jedi, maybe even release a Rancor, cause it's quite topical, then you need these two. And he would look awesome on a vintage card. And he's one of my favorite figures, by the way. What a stunning figure he is. Philip H says, congrats on 20K and thanks for the great content. With the release of the Vintage Collection, Throne Room, and the anniversary of Return of the Jedi coming up next year, is it possible we will get another release of Jabba in 3.75 inch scale? Maybe in a creature pack like they did for the Luke's Tauntaun. So yeah, I think that's entirely possible. And Emily in the Q&A is basically, she didn't confirm or deny, but I think she said, you know, when they're looking at doing these play sets, they look at the other characters that could be involved within there. And if you take the Boba Fett's throne off, then there's a big space for Jabba. All right then, so now it's time to draw for the giveaway. So basically last week you left your comments or questions in the comment section below. And this will be a YouTube random comment picker that I'm gonna be using. So all I need to do is post the URL for last week's video into there and click fetch. And this is gonna tell me how many comments we are gonna be picking from. Now I'm not gonna allow duplicates and I'm not going to include replies to make it fair. So then you only have one entry per person, which is the fairest way to do it. So if I just click continue, 
it's fetching all the comments now you can see it going up and we have 468 unique comments which is which is pretty awesome so i'm going to pick a winner now for the first thing which is the maldo crease vintage collection mandalorian and grogu with the spiders so also with that i'm doing the two carbonized figures i believe as well so let's pick the winner for that one first and the winner is dills h95 hi bb congratulations 20k other than bosk what is your favorite star wars vc figure there's too many to mention mate um i love all of the new ones uh bo katan's a, a great new one but congratulations you are the winner you need to contact me on social media via Twitter or Instagram or maybe even email me at tim at bosksbounty.com uh, to claim your prize. The winners have one week to claim the prizes, otherwise I will redraw. All right, so on to the next one. So this is for the two credit collection figures and I think I also included the Vintage Collection Emperor and IG-11 within this one. So let's pick a winner for this one as well. And the winner for this one is Charlie Ware. Congratulations on 20K. I'm new to collecting TVC. When I was younger, I had a huge collection of Star Wars figures, mainly Revenge of the Sith figures. Do you have a favorite from that series of figures? The Phase 2 clones, I thought that mold was really, really good and it was used lots of times from then on. And really good figure, that one. So congratulations to the two winners. As I said before, you have one week to contact me via those methods that I mentioned. And thank you so much to everybody else that entered. I really do appreciate it. And we'll do another giveaway soon. Anyway, back to the questions. Jared Cantor says, question for next week. Given the reveal of Fett's throne room as a high price playset, what other playsets do you think Hasbro could do as pricey Pulse exclusives versus Haslabs? So again, I'm gonna talk about Emily from the Q&As. Now she's basically saying that when they think about these playsets, they look at ones that can include lots of figures and different characters and things like that. So when I think of that, I think of things like the obvious one, the Cantina from Mos Eisley. But for me, if they want to do that one properly, then it needs to be bigger than the Jabba's throne room. So that's potentially maybe a Haslab. But maybe something like the Echo Base from The Empire Strikes Back would be a pretty cool one. We've already got quite a few figures from there. They could release some droids. A new snow speeder Luke would be a good figure to do, maybe. So lots of possibilities. Corin Kratz says, Hey Tim, well done on 20k. I've only recently got into collecting and seeing your videos has inspired me to continue. That's awesome, my friend. Thank you so much. Question for next week. What got you into collecting Star Wars and the vintage collection in particular? So basically, I'm one of the lucky ones that I was around as a child when the original Kenner line was out. And if you were a child of that age, then it was pretty much impossible not to enjoy those figures. So that's where my collecting kind of started. And the vintage collection is because obviously it mimics those figures that I was used to back in the day. You know, you take this card back away and I would still want to collect the figures because I love the figures, but the, the card back on this particular style means a great deal. Modal Node says, congrats on 20K, Tim. Question for next week. When do you think we will start to see the thicker card stock Hasbro promised last year? So again, in the Q and A's, I think this was addressed and they said that it had been slightly delayed. I was hoping to see that thicker cardstock on the Bo-Katan wave, which, which didn't happen. Let's hope and pray that we are going to get it on the next wave uh, with the Fennec Shan and things like that. But again, it may have been delayed until the next wave after that. But we'll have to wait and see. But it's definitely coming. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that it is, in fact, the next wave. Mark Karp says, hey, Tim, great episode. Love all the info. Is the upcoming single carded vintage collection Ahsoka figure from the Mandalorian different from the deluxe Ahsoka Walmart exclusive figure? I've pre-ordered both, but if they're the same, then I could cancel the regular carded figure. So they are exactly the same figures, apart from in the deluxe set, you get the cloak and a few of the little accessories. So the standard carded figure is exactly the same, but without the cloak. From a certain point of view says, congratulations on the 20K subscribers, Tim. With the release of the Clone Wars and Droids figures, do you see Hasbro expanding this further with maybe future figures from other properties like Ewoks, Visions, etc.? or possibly doing a new comics line in the vintage collection like they have with the Black Series. So yeah, absolutely, I can see them doing that sort of thing, especially maybe Ewoks, because I get the feeling that the droids figures went down very well and they've been a great success, so maybe they will do something for the Ewoks with the coin. However, we do need to be a little bit cautious with these things because these exclusives always do tend to be repaints. And we've just seen the reaction that the Black Chrysanthemum got in the Black Series. It's based on the comic book one, but even so, it didn't look great and it didn't go down well with the community. So if you're thinking about the comic book line in the vintage collection, just be aware 
that they will probably be repaints just like the Clone Wars figures are. You know, all of those figures we've had before, they're just painted differently. So we just have to bear that in mind. Oscar McQuillan says, congrats on 20K. Question, with the vintage collection growing, do you think we'll ever get to the point where Hasbro starts to prioritize 3.75 inch TVC over the Black Series in terms of releasing characters from the new media? So I personally think that we've got the vintage collection onto a decent footing now. I still don't think we're level with the Black Series, but I think Hasbro believe that the audiences are different. So I think the Black Series will still always get the new figures from the new media. It'll take a little bit longer to come out in the vintage collection. And I think with the vintage collection that they think they have a broader audience to keep happy, essentially. So you've got people that just want the original trilogy. They're happy for a bit of Rogue One thrown in there. There's people that, you know, really love the Clone Wars. So there's a lot of different people to satisfy in the vintage collection, which I don't think they necessarily think they have to do with the Black Series. But as we know, we want everything in the vintage collection, just like the Black Series do. So it's very difficult for them to balance it all out. All right then guys, that's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching and congratulations to the winners of the giveaway. As I said before, make sure you contact me via social media and we will arrange to get those posted out to you. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave your questions in for next week's episode. And also drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters and channel members. As always, your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you on the next one.